Hello everyone and welcome back to the Don't Starve Guide series and today I'm going to talk about the bird cage and how you can get the bird and the cage and get both of those things. So first off we're going to go and get the bird. And to do this we are going to be making a bird trap. So you're going to need some silk and you're going to need some twigs. You're going to get your silk from your spiders. Now spiders can be a little bit tricky so I'm going to be doing a separate guide video on how to handle those because Wow, they can kill you really, really easily, particularly those high-level sort of spider nests. They can be incredibly dangerous, so I'm going to be doing a guide on how to handle those and the various ways and tools and things you can do to try and make that a bit easier. But for now, for this video, basically you're going to need your silk and you're going to need some twigs, and then you're going to build up a bird trap. Now, a lot like a rabbit trap, bird trap works pretty much the same way, but you don't need to put it around like... Um, some kind of bird hole thing because birds don't live in rabbit tunnels or anything like that surprisingly enough and you can even use seeds as well to um, to bait it and then you can just sort of leave that alone a bird will eventually fly into there get caught and then be stuck in that bird cage and then you can go and pick them up later and now or not yeah I suppose it is a bird cage anyway so now we're going to go and build the uh, the bird cage itself so you're going to need uh, your cut reeds you're going to get those from swamps uh, be quite careful with the swamps try to stick to the road as there can be there are so many tentacles out there and you're going to need quite a bit of uh, papyrus I think about eight uh, I got 41 here which is a bit way more than I needed but you know you're going to need around about eight I think so be very very careful in those swamps those tentacles are dangerous but they don't tend to hit you if you're on the move so just keep moving if tentacles start trying to hit you you just run just run so now we're actually going to go and refine those um, into a bit of papyrus Let's drop that cut reads for now and some more papyrus just one more and we should be able to build the bird cage. Let's get close to the alchemy engine and then kapow! You've got your bird cage. Let's not put it near the lightning thing. I, I just, I'm not sure if it actually does affect it, but I would just feel wrong putting some poor innocent little bird next to a giant lightning rod. It would just feel very, very wrong on about a hundred different levels. Let's go and check the bird trap. It still hasn't got any, so we'll just see when that has got some. Alrighty, we got one. I just saw him fly into that little bird trap, and now he's bouncing around in there. Poor little thing, he can't get out. Make sure that you've got bag slots, because otherwise you're going to end up freeing him. So, there we go. We've got the little birdie. Hello, bird. How are you doing? You're going to become very, very close to us, and be in a bird cage, and, you know, serenade us, but let's not murder him. And then you can just imprison him. You left click, and then you just left click on the cage. There we go. There's a little bird cage. You can take him out. And you can put them back in. The different types of birds doesn't actually really make any difference. And now, if you want them to do certain things, like if you want them to do something, you can give them, um, for example, seeds. If you give them seeds, they'll do things. And, for example, they might drop more seeds. So if you give them seeds, they'll drop seeds. Like maybe you want lots and lots of like eggplants or something, then you can get eggplant seeds by giving them to them, I think. But I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really worked with the birdcage that much. But what I do know is that you can give them meat, and then they will give you eggs. So you can give it like a morsel. Nom nom on that morsel. There we go. And then it just gives you an egg. And one of the nice things about that is that you can actually... It doesn't really matter whether the meats are kind of like spoiling or anything. So a lot of your meats, if it's starting to kind of spoil and run out and it's all in the red or something and you don't want to eat it because it's about to turn into horrible things, you can just give it to your bird and your bird doesn't mind and he will give you eggs. Um, that's, that's pretty much it with the bird cage. You give him seeds and he gives you seeds. You give him meat and he gives you eggs. And you use a bird cage to trap the poor little thing and then you stuff him in his new prison. Poor little guy. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's it for the birdcage. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you out. And if it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheerio.